Jim Davis here at Fluke Networks with another in our series of videos on questions for the TAC. And today's question is, how do I test 16 fiber MPO multi-mode angled connectors? Ooh, very exciting. And at the same time, let's take a look at the new inspection standard, the 61300-3-35 edition three. So today I'm going to be using our FI3000 camera. The FI3000 camera works real well for these array connectors. So let's get our test set up. We'll jump in here. We'll say new test, put on our safety goggles just in case. And I'm going to change to a fiber inspection test and the test limit that I'm going to use, I'll tap more and end face limits. You can see that in addition to the old edition two limits, we have the new edition three limits. So I'm gonna select edition three for multi-mode. Now I don't have a single fiber. I'm not using eight or 10 or 12 with a base 12 connector. I'm going to be using 16 fibers. All right, we got 16 fibers selected. Let's push save and use selected, and we'll push test to start. Now, 16 fibers are different from 12. The alignment pins are a little bit further apart. So in order to avoid plugging a 16 into a 12, they have a little bit of an offset key here. And I'm gonna plug that offset key into this 16 fiber coupler. Now, one other fun thing, we have a new tip, and this tip is what I'm gonna call a keyless tip. There's no key on either side. And that means that I can measure both 12, 24, and 16 fiber cables. And we'll just slide that in there. All right, see the image is live. I'll just try and straighten that out a little bit. Uh, beautiful. And we'll push, there are all 16 of our fibers. We'll tap analyze. Zoom in, give it a few seconds. It has to look at 16 fibers. It needs to look at the two zones, the core and the cladding to make sure there are not too many contaminants there as required by the standard. And we will get our test result. There we go. Oh no, two of the fibers have failed. Let's take a look at what's going on with those two fibers. So we'll tap there and we can zoom in on, it was the first two, wasn't it? There we go, we got a little bit of, little bit of stuff on the edge. From experience, when I see this little bit on the edge, eh, it's just a shadow, it's gonna be fine. The core of the fiber is clear, we're in good shape. All right, uh, hey, we can save this test result. There we'll go, we'll save that test result. And I'm gonna try testing the other end of this cable, and see if we can get one to pass. Who knows? So we're gonna take it off. And again, we can see the 16 fiber cable has this offset key. We will plug that into our coupler with the offset key, like so, there we go. Um, we'll back up, we'll push test, we'll get our live image. Mm, beautiful. All right, tap analyze there. Now it takes a few seconds. We're looking at 16 fibers. We need to check the core and the cladding of each of the 16 fibers to make sure that the contaminants that are on there don't exceed the requirements of the standard. And there we go. Hey, this end is beautiful. We're passing. We see we have 16 passing fibers, no failures. If we wanted to look at it in more detail, we can zoom in there and get a nice high resolution image of each one of the fibers. Now, something different about MPO connectors from single ferrule connectors, you'll see this composite background surface. The composite background surface, instead of being the cubic zirconia or zirconia, I'm not even sure what type of zirconia it is, but single fiber, you're not gonna see this complex surface in the background. It's absolutely fine, normal for an MPO connector. And we see that all of these are passing. We have the core zone and the cladding, which are both in good condition. Hey, while we're here talking about new fiber connectors, and again, this is a 16 fiber connector. Why do we have 16 fibers? Well, if we're transmitting at 50 gig lane speeds and we transmit 50 gig on eight fibers and we receive 50 gig on eight fibers, we get 400 gig communications, very fancy. 
But there are other new types of connectors. And of course, just for fun, this is MPO. It is an angled connector. They put the angle on there because when they're going up to the PAM4 encoding schemes, they really want to avoid reflections. You can also see that the tip that I use has a slight bend in it. And that slight bend is so we can get a good focal depth on the connector. But while we're here talking about new tips, as I hold the camera facing away from me, it's Lefty Lucy, and we can take this tip off because I want to show you a new connector you may not have seen before. So for this new connector, I'm going to use this new tip. Different tips for different connectors makes sense. Facing away from me, it's righty tighty to put this on. And this new connector type that I'm going to show you is something that the big fancy data centers are using. It's a connector that comes from US Connect called an MMC connector. And I'll let you guess how many fibers are on this MMC connector. Okay, you don't have to guess. It can be base 12, base 16, or base 24. The key is on the top of the connector, and that key on the top is going to align with this hole on the top of the tip. There we go, we've got that plugged in. We'll go back to our live view. Come on, live view. There we go. Do I want to save that? Sure, let's save that passing test result. Beautiful. So because it is 24 fibers, I'm going to have to change the configuration and I'm going to have to tell the tester, tester, edit. My new configuration is 24 fibers, two by 12. There we go. Done, save, you selected, push test to start. And we can see the alignment hole. We can see the fibers, we'll push analyze. Now, this connector has a couple of miles on it. <laughs> it might fail, but that's okay because really what I wanna show you is the new connector, the new size, and you can see that this connector is smaller than an MPO connector. So we can get greater density. And guess what? As we're installing our new artificial intelligence GPUs in our big fancy data centers, we're going to be using a lot more fiber. Good for those of us who work with fiber. And as I said, I got a couple of failures here, but there I am inspecting a new MMC connector. So in answer to your question to the TAC, how do I test an MPO APC multi-mode connector? We'll use an APC tip. We'll use our FI3000 camera. And something new and different that you would have asked if you knew about it is how we test these new MMC connectors. Jim Davis, thanks for watching.